Hello, I'm Paul Yushkovich from the University of Pennsylvania and lead developer of ITK Snap. Today I want to talk to you about an exciting new feature introduced into ITK Snap 4.4, integration with NN Interactive, a new deep learning based 3D promptable segmentation model that has been used to achieve incredible segmentation tasks with just a few quick interactions. NN Interactive is brought to you by the developers of NN Unit, folks from the Medical Image Computing Group of the German Cancer Research Center. Let's jump right in and look at how to start using this new feature in ITK Snap and get some segmentations. First, I'll select this cropped MRI scan that we have been using to test ITK Snap for the last 15 or 20 years, maybe even more. To activate the new features, I'm going to go to the paintbrush mode and under the paintbrush inspector, I will click this new AI button. As soon as I click the button, it tells, tells me something about these new deep learning extensions and asks me if I want to configure them. Yes, let's go ahead and configure. Right now, I don't have any servers configured. And I will talk in a few minutes about how to set up servers. There are different options, such as running a server in Google Colab, which provides you with some GPU-based servers for limited amount of time, running on a GPU-equipped machine locally, or running on a remote GPU-equipped machine in your network environment. Either way, I need to set up a server. I'm going to click on New. I'm going to start by using a cloud-based server, so I'm going to click Network Connection to a GPU server. And I'm going to quickly copy down here the URL of my new server. Again, I will come back to this notebook in Google Colab and explain to you what it does. For now, I'm just going to copy this URL. There it goes. I also need to enter the correct port number. Let's give it a nickname. Google Colab server and click OK. And very quickly, we have connected to the server and we're ready to start doing segmentations. Let's go ahead and start by segmenting the corpus callosum. I'm going to choose the round brush and I'm going to just quickly outline or squiggle through the corpus callosum, just like that. Now the image is getting uploaded to the server as we speak and in just a second or two, a segmentation will appear. There it is. Now it's not just a two-dimensional segmentation, you can also see it on additional slice views. And I can look at it in 3D and appreciate that indeed a good portion of the corpus callosum has been segmented. Now what you just saw is what the interactive folks call the scribble interaction. They also provide a few other types of interactions. So to segment the hippocampus, I will use what they call point interaction, which is just clicking at any point inside of the hippocampus. And like magic, the segmentation appears. Now, if we're not completely satisfied with the segmentation we get from the first try, we can always go in here and make adjustments. So for example, I can use my paintbrush to maybe add a little bit, a few more additional voxels to the segmentation. Look at this 3D view as the segmentation gets updated. Notice the change was not just on the slice where I added it, but I also on the additional slices. If I feel like it's being over segmented, I can use my right button to clear the segmentation and again, the segmentation gets adjusted. It may take a few interactions to get this right, but it's quite impressive for just a few clicks. The other way to use or interact with an interactive is using the polygon tool. I can select the polygon tool up here and again, use this checkbox to turn on AI mode. And now let's segment the lateral ventricle and I'm going to do this using the polygon tool. So I'm just going to quickly outline the ventricle in one of the planes, accept. And as we can see, 
a good portion of the ventricles was select was segmented not all of them so maybe I should go down here again and I can use any of my other slice views to add more to the segmentation as we can see a lot more of the ventricle was selected was segmented and we can keep going and a few additional interactions let's look at another image we don't have to do everything in the brain so next up let's look at this image of the placenta this is an ultrasound image of a placenta and a fetus and I'll show you just how quickly and how easily we can segment this whole placenta Doing this by hand can take an hour or maybe even more. So I'm quickly outlining a polygon. Complete. Accept. And we just got to wait a few seconds for the image to upload. And a few more seconds for the segmentation to be calculated. Right now the deep learning model is running and lo and behold, here we have a segmentation. Very impressive to my eye, a very impressive segmentation of the placenta in this image. While well, if we hear, let's switch over to the paintbrush tool and we'll segment the baby as well. This seems like a good plane to do the segmentation. Just a few scribbles. There it is, quite incredible. So let's look at one more image, just to be complete, another ultrasound image. And I just uh, wanna remind you, if you look at the at an interactive paper, uh, the model has been trained on many, many data sets, I think over a hundred, but most of them are CT and MRI data sets and very, very few are ultrasound. So it's quite impressive to see it do such a good job on ultrasound data sets. Here I will segment the mitral valve first. Let me zoom in on this view. Do a quick scribble here. Again, the image is uploading. There the segmentation is done. And look at it in a 3D view. We have a beautiful valve segmentation. Both leaflets have been segmented. Let's go ahead and quickly add the ventricle as well. Let's see, maybe we can segment it in this view. There, beautiful segmentation. So let's go back and talk about how do we set up these servers that will run in an interactive for you. So if we click on this preferences panel where we were before, notice that we have here a link to online documentation. And this will contain all the instructions to set up your own servers. <coughs> First up, what I said we, is the easiest way to run this is in a Google Colab because it doesn't require having your own GPU. You can use Google's GPUs for a limited amount of time to run your server. So here I already have a Colab notebook, Google Colab notebook running. That's the Colab notebook that I've been using to do these and interactive segmentations. And if you notice, the whole notebook is just two cells. There's a little bit of instructions at the beginning on what you need to do before you get started. You want to make sure that you're connected to a GPU-based runtime. In this case, I'm using the T4, which is a type of a NVIDIA GPU. The first cell here installs all the necessary Python software, and the software here is included in this ITK Snap DLS. DLS stands for Deep Learning Service. 
the NTK snap DLS package. Um, the second command runs ITK snap DLS. There's this additional step of setting up an authentication token, which allows you to communicate between ITK snap and Google Colab through a third party tunnel provided by ngrok. Now, this is only something you need to deal with when you're going through Google Colab because Google Colab does not allow us to connect to a server running on it directly, which is why we have to go through a tunnel. But again, it's incredibly easy to set up. Just clicking on a few links, pasting this long code in here, and you're ready to go. Here you can see the output from the running server. The first line of this output tells you the address of the server and the port. That's exactly what we typed into ITK snap. You can see it right here. And here you can see output from an interactive as it's running. So easiest thing to do, go to our documentation, click on this Google Colab notebook, and you can be up and running in a minute or two. Now, there are two other ways in which you can uh, run an interactive here through ITK Snap. If you do happen to have your own GPU, then why not use it? So we, in this case, you can just create a new local connection. Let's call it local server under the nickname. So local computer. And to set it up, I just need to select which Python executable I'm going to run. So there's probably more than one Python version on your computer, and I would recommend using the latest and the directory where you want to install ITK Snap DLS and all the packages that are required. This will be a standalone installation of all the packages or what's called the Python virtual environment that will be created for you. And in order to create it, you just click set up Python packages and it'll take a minute or two or maybe five, depending on your internet connection speed to download all the packages, install them, and once they're installed, it'll also download the and an interactive models. These are fairly large files. These are the deep learning networks that are being used to perform the segmentation that will be downloaded to your computer as well. This is what's happening right now is it's getting ready to download those models. So now the models have been downloaded and we have this message telling us that the server is ready to go. Okay. A few more seconds for the server to start up. And here we are, ready to run segmentations. Now, I don't happen to have a GPU on this computer, so this is not going to work well. I'm going to try one other option, which is to run an NUNet on a Linux GPU server in our lab. So again, I'm going to go to new. This is a network connection. I'm going to type in the name of our server. It's going to run on the default port. And there's one other feature that I'm going to show you here is that this machine, Lambda Clam, it does not allow you to directly connect to port 8911 because it's behind a firewall and that port is blocked. So instead, ITK Snap allows you to tunnel to this machine using an SSH tunnel, which is also more secure because the data will be sent back and forth encrypted. And all I have to do is just type in my SSH username. Depending on your configuration, when you do this, you might be asked for a password, and we don't store this password in ITK Snap anywhere. It's just being used for the tunnel authentication and then not being used anymore. Okay, and here we are connected to the server. Now, in order to set up ITK Snap DLS on your server, it's pretty simple. Just follow the online documentation on using ITK Snap DLS in the remote mode. The first part of the documentation talks about how to do it with Colab. The second part of the documentation talks about how to set it up on your own machine. It's just a few commands to create a virtual environment, install the package, run the package, and it'll print out the address and port 
that you need to enter to run it for my TK snap. There's also some troubleshooting at the end if you run into problems. So there it is. Beautiful segmentations generated in seconds. Thanks to incredible work from the folks from the NN Interactive and NNUNet team. Thanks so much to them and thanks to all of you ITK Snap users. We love you, we love to hear from you, and we hope to be providing awesome software features for you for the years to come. Thank you.